Yeah, yeah, show me, yeah, show because- me, show me. <gasps> ah! Oh, she got a little hole in her booty. I love that. Yeah, she's got a couple of those. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my Lady Disdain. I'm still Sandy. And what you're about to see is the final part of my collaboration with Kat from Magical Girl Kit Kat Gaming. We're going to start with some footage that I recorded of the construction of my part of the project, which I'm very excited about. Then you'll be in on a video chat where I reveal it to Kat, which was just hysterical. And at the end, you'll see a video reveal of what I made for my smart doll cami and some beautiful photos taken by my husband, John. And if you like smart dolls and crafting, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you'll know when I make new videos. When you're done watching, let me know what you thought of the project in the comments. Okay, so let's take a look at the process. Okay, so I'm here in my sewing room and this is day one of getting started on my collab project. And I just wanted to show you the first thing that I've done. We're gonna review like really quickly. I've laid out all of the materials and I will show you what I've gotten started on so far and what my initial idea is although the idea is there it can change it's going to change as I go I'm sure because it already did okay so here are the items that we have started working what we have to start working with we have the yellow knit the sock um, these are my inspiration items the the mer unicorns mercorns whatever they are called the little unicorn figurine the band here with all of the different beads and stuff on it, which I have found out was on a hat. The sort of space themed fabric, the feathers, the flowers, and all of the buttons. Now, you might remember from the last video, if, and if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it, that there was another piece of fabric. And I started working with it, and I was, I had different plans. I turned it inside out. I was gonna make it into a skirt. I had all these things I was gonna try. One of my favorite techniques to do when doing fairy things is shredding. So I cut a small strip off of that other fabric to see how it would shred in a circle. And when I pulled it, it became yarn. I mean, like really easy to work with stretchy yarn. So I am doing a fairy project and I created a new textile. So I knitted this. I used a stockinette stitch and uh, knitted several rows and I left one long piece and we'll, you'll see what I do with that. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm really, really psyched about the way that it turned out. Right now it's pinned here and then I'm gonna take it down and steam it and make it nice and flat because stockinette has a tendency to want to roll right after you finish it. But I just love how this turned out. It was like an interesting tie dye. I'm really psyched about how this turned out. Okay, so Cami is here and she is modeling the first piece of my fairy costume. I opted to turn the stockinette to the pearl side. Um, I kind of like the way it looks. It kind of looks like stones or something. And then this, my intent with that extra piece is to use it wrapped like you might wrapped and bound like you might see like leather straps or something on armor but it's got to be a lot softer for this fairy because she's gonna have flowers and stuff all over her the beauty of it was was i was able to use the tail end of my yarn to weave the thing closed i didn't even have to touch my sewing machine so that was pretty cool okay so the next thing i am doing is constructing a super basic pair of bike shorts i basically cut the straight piece out of the sock, cut a slit up uh, the middle, and I'm just gonna stitch it closed by hand because what I intend to do is cover most of this with flower petals. She will have basically shorts made of flowers on the bottom. And I turned the sock inside out because I kind of like the way the uh, unidentifiable threads look and they go with the pop. So that is my next process, and I am taking that downstairs so that I can be with my dogs because they're driving me nuts. 
Okay, so it is the second evening of working on this, and I have these two fabrics left to use. I mean, I've used the little bit of the gold, but not enough to satisfy me. And um, I have this other tube of spacey fabric that Kat gave me. Um, this one, I, I think, I really like this red edge. Um, to go with, you know, the color palette is very similar, except it adds more red. Um, so I think this might end up being some kind of a cloak. And then I still have to figure out what to do with some of the other beaded elements that I got. And I will show you a little glimpse of how the shorts are coming along. You can see I've actually put wear holes in them because I really want this to have a thrown together kind of look. And I have added some, some flowers onto it here. So that's where we are with that. Okay, so here I decided to make, use the gold to make a sort of a leg guard sock type thing for one of her legs. Thinking outside the box. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. I cut a piece of the flap off of the box that Kat sent. So technically this is an item that she sent me. This is a very like soft knit. So I'm using this to kind of bulk up the top and make sort of a cuff piece that goes around her knee. And I think I want to do something to the texture of this to make it look a little bit different. But I really did like the the effect of the, the ribs going this way instead of this way. Actually, it looks really good. I started to feel like the costume was getting a little bit too pastel and bright and I wanted some more natural elements in it. So I took some more of the cardboard box and started just tearing off the outside layer of the cardboard. So it's corrugated and I just peeling off the paper from the outside and tearing it and then gluing it down so that it looks sort of like hide and it seems to be working pretty well and it's actually dulling down the colors a little bit which is great i should add that that also involves distressing it so i'm crumpling it in my hands and then stretching it out and rubbing it on things just making it look less like paper so when i made the yellow leg piece it, it came out really good for what it was, but it was just too much yellow. Um, the rest of the outfit is much more cool toned and I just, I just couldn't stop looking at the yellow. So what I decided to do was go to my cardboard technique and make a couple of leg wraps because, you know, fairies don't really need to wear shoes anyways. We have this one going on with the flower at the moment. These are still gonna be tweaked, but, and we have this one that's a little bit more sloppy, more of a wrap and then I've used some of the cardboard elsewhere as well. I'm pretty happy with this. I, I like the wildness of it as opposed to actually putting full shoes on and I like the exposed leg. So we've decided that today is the last day of construction and I'm doing a little more work on the costume that I'm making, just adding some final small details. This is a little bit of the back of the costume and a shot of the back of the feet, which I'm still working on, and the considerable mess that I have made. So when you are making things and you're going, oh my God, I'm such a mess, I'm so disorganized, I gotta believe everyone is. So um, yeah, I did end up incorporating some paint, some paint markers into my project, but so far I still have not used anything that any items that were not given to me other than that so um i'm pretty psyched i like this a lot and i may have to make it for practical purposes so that other people can use it if they want to yeah yeah show me yeah show because me, show me. okay she's like i just want to see <laughs> i want to see just give it just give it to me okay. sack it to me okay okay you're right getting my girl cammy here uh, i'm gonna poop see everywhere Okay, now you know the story, uh, the brief story of of Cammy. She is Camellia Frost Thistle. She is the Lady Camellia Frost Thistle, right? Yeah. But she has an alternate form that she uses when she doesn't want to have to be so proper. You know, like when she wants to just go out and have fun and let loose, she pretends to be somebody else. Uh -huh. So, 
so this is her scavenger fairy form. <gasps> oh my so, god. I'll start at the feet here. Um I I use the gold like as a as a foot wrap. Um Yes. Those are is, sick. This is the fabric. And then I kind of had a, a jolt of inspiration and I said, this is actually not cheating. I weathered out the um the cardboard. I used Shut. like you know, I pulled it up and I like rubbed it and scrubbed it and made it into like uh like hide. That's genius. Hold Mike brilliant. This brilliant. And then and then okay, so we come up through here. And this is what I did with the sock. I actually I turned love it. what you did with the sock. That's so sexy. I turned it inside out because it actually like kind of looks scavengery and cool. Like my idea was that like scavenger elves are like the way birds gather stuff to make their nests. Like they just gather whatever they can to make clothes. Yes. So she's got like a little armor piece made out of the cardboard oh here. And I worked some feathers in. Now, this is what I was trying to tell you about that I didn't tell you about, which was I actually started out with your fabric that you sent me with um, trying to shred it. And I was like, when I shredded it, I pulled on it and I went, it's yarn. So I cut it all into like a half inch strip and I... I knit stockinette stitch to make this whole top thing and then used the ends to create this sort of binding that's going on. So anywhere you see like yarn type stuff, it is actually your fabric that I've pulled and stretched into yarn. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm loving it. I was just like so psyched. <laughs> I keep looking because Ben is like, Peep, he's peeping he's peeping you can see some of this he can come look he's this you know, he's is part freaking of the oh my god like it's freaking brilliant the cardboard what you do with the sock and like how you thought to shred and do my i'm speechless this is fucking cool <laughs> okay i think phase two is going to like just drive you over the edge so let me, let me get phase two for you oh my god I am amazed. She used parts of the cardboard box, the box to do like this, like leather, like skin kind of a look for piece. She's brilliant. The woman this is, is taking me a second. I am amazed. And it's funny because like, so I made a prediction that what I thought you were going to do. And my hypothesis was <laughs> That you were going to do like a Moana, Hawaiian, like BG girl. That was my prediction. I was so far off. I was so far off. She looks amazing. Like she looks so hot. Like she's wearing, um, she's wearing Tose Multiverse's wig. Which looks great. Like she looks like you don't want to, you do not want to fight her. Like okay. don't, you encounter her in the woods and you best you best run son okay so i have lifted up her hood eh, i can i'll pull her back here there we go ah she's got a galaxy <laughs> now i don't know like if you might be able to guess what this is for i'm not sure if you yes. look at how her arm yes. is okay so give me one second um this is the the I call him the unicorvid. He is her you know they don't do falconry. She has a unicorvid. Oh my god. I am obsessed with him. She's all set to, you know, tell him where to go here. So we'll pull her back again. He's perfect. Oh my god, I love that you I was wondering I was like is she going to use that little unicorn? The cape is stunning. I love the so I did the hung the feathers the off of it. The feathers are beautiful with the flowers. Oh my god. And I love how you use the buttons as like, like that's her lure. Yes, that was cool. 
that's that's that she can throw that for for him so that he can retrieve it he's so he's so cute get him a little i even gave he got a little bit of a a horn enlargement (laughs) because when i started adding all of the feathers and actually you can see he's got some little uh petal wings underneath too (laughs) Um, i want i want him so bad (laughs) (laughs) um so cute he's uh he, he he's his when i started adding all the feathers the the i needed to make the horn bigger because it was just like getting overwhelmed but yeah he looks great black doesn't he he looks amazing like he looks like he sh- that's like what he was meant to be um i love how you incorporated the cords from that uh that hat that i had and then do you also have some of the beading around the top of the shirt yes oh yep. let me Actually, I'll take her cape off so that you can see the rest of the costume better. The cape, the cape is beautiful. I love it. So the cape, the, those weird pieces of fabric that I sent to you were face masks. Oh, were they? Face masks. They were gators. gators. Okay, I thought that might have been what they were, but I wasn't sure. I think I said that too. So I yeah, love it's... that. Then I added a little piece. I t- cut some of the flowers apart so that I could just use petals. So that they would be a little bit less. Is that the metal? Um, yes. The pen thing. The pen thing. Oh my god! Yep. With I some love feathers it. in it. I just like I. I am like I am so love. I'm going to be doing this more often. I love this. Uh, um, the stretched fabric becoming yarn and the binding and stuff. And I was like saying, I'm like I probably should like figure out a way to make this costume and make it like more removable like I think I could do it and get it back on but I I'm not sure (laughs) I this was like nothing that I could have predicted like not even a little bit but it looks so amazing all the little details are they're just fantastic like she totally like has a story like she has this whole character going it's just really awesome I'm so amazed I'm amazed with what you did with that top with like shredding it and it just I can't yeah when I cut it into a strip it just like when you take that that jersey fabric when you cut it into a strip when you pull it just kind of rolls in on itself and just keeps stretching and becomes yarn so like you can and then the sock too The sock is actually, I stretched this. This is like a thin piece of the sock that I stretched and tied around. Some more beading on there. That's so cool. Yeah, there's beading on her butt. and Oh, she got a little hole in her bootay. I love that. Yeah, she's got a couple of those. Yeah, she wants that dunk. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, I mean, she's a smart doll. I mean, (laughs) they got got that dunk. Yeah. Yes, they do. (laughs) That is amazing. I am so absolutely just impressed like I wasn't going to be impressed thanks we you know we we had a we had fun me and Cammy making this we we had a good time Cammy and I was like walking around singing singing songs I was singing silly songs about the unicorvid like you know he's a unicorvid doing his unicorvid stuff like (laughs) I was having the best time he is beautiful he is a work of art and looks 10 times better like that was the makeover he needed his little angry determined face i emphasized it i like him a grump grump. (laughs) oh my gosh so challenges were um i tried to like i I, I, the biggest challenge i had to overcome was trying to 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 dull things down a little bit because the colors were very bright and i wanted her to have a more earthy kind of feeling so i I, when i thought of the cardboard i was like even just these little bits of cardboard like brought it down a peg you know um and then uh let's see what else i wanted to try and use everything and like because 
of the nature of what I tried, what my theme was. It was like, I could keep adding stuff, but it just started to get muddy and I had to pull back. Yeah. You know? Well, it's like, like I had texted you. I, I could, I was using bits and pieces because like it would be overwhelming to use all of the fabric, all of like some of those pieces. So no, I think it looks, it looks amazing. What was the most fun piece? Like what was like that moment that you had where you were like struck by inspiration where like maybe you had um, no idea what to do with it. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, yeah, this is what we're doing. Um, I would say the, the knitting for one thing and then remembering that you can grab knit stitches and pull them up and do fun like lace type things. And that's where the neck piece came from. And then I love the binding effect. Ooh, she's going to fall over. I love the binding. Like that was fun. That in itself is is art, like trying to figure out how to create interesting designs and stuff. And And it actually is an art of sorts. And I forget what the actual term is, but, um, but yeah, I think that was probably it. I was like figuring out how to, to bind things and, and, and when the brainstorm of the, of the, uh, the knitting was, was huge. And that actually happened fairly early. And after that, it was just like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to make a scavenger fairy. Like I, when I, I directed Midsummer Night's Dream several years ago and I built all the costumes and I really wanted my fairies to be scavengers, but we just didn't have time to really flesh it out. So um, getting to make Cammy into a scavenger fairy was kind of cool. Isn't that the beauty <laughs> of Smart Doll is like just being able to realize things. I even like cosplay, you know, I don't to cosplay something for a full size person is like, Ah, but like being able to do it on a one third scale size is just like, I don't know, just feels like it's more possible. Yeah. yeah. And you can be what you can do whatever you want, you know, like, I mean, it doesn't matter if you actually like look like the person or whatever you can just, it's whatever you want it to be. And these girls can be whatever we want. And, you know, we, they're kind of like, I don't know about you. I, no, actually, I do know. Like both of us have like have said that the dolls like reflect us in certain ways. Yeah, like you know? they're. I don't. I, they. I consider them people. Like I talk. Like they have. Like I guess a soul. Like there's just something about them. So yeah, they're yeah. people. They got personalities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so Cammy is um is waiting to see your reveal and otherwise you're going to have to deal with the unicorn can i and you don't you do not want to deal with the unicorn whoa 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 you didn't think you were going to be able to see cat's side of the project here did you no 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 you have to go to magical girl kit cat gaming and she'll show you her project and if you don't the unicorn isn't going to be very happy and no one wants that but before you go, let's have one last look at the scavenger fairy, including some photos from John's photo shoot. Wasn't that awesome? I just love those photos. For more of the photos from the shoot, you can follow John on Instagram at SmartDollFolio. And to keep up with me, you can follow me on Instagram at MyLadyDisdain with underscores. Thank you, Kat, for being up to the challenge. It was so much fun to do. And I'm so glad that we were able to do this together and that we've become friends. And thank you all for watching. I had so much fun doing this project, and if you had fun too, please like this video so that we can bring you more of this in the future. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye. He's a unicorn, doing his unicorn stuff.